Live from Austin, Texas, and 15% slower in PAL regions, it's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hi, Danny. <laughs> you know, I think we can solve this by uh, speaking faster than we usually do for the rest of the stream. So uh, we're going to be in chipmunk uh, audio tonight, I think. Sounds great. Yep. Tonight we're going to play a bunch of PS2 PAL localizations. We're all going to have fun, and I hope you're going to enjoy. <laughs> Uh, tonight's stream is dedicated to all our PAL region friends and family. People who live in places where they experience life in 50 hertz. 50 frames per second instead of the usual 60. Can you imagine? Well, they've got a lot of their own exclusive games and stuff that need to be covered. Mm -hmm. Need. And we're going to cover those tonight. We must. Yeah. Uh, before we get started, real quick, thank you to Cam Bertian. Uh, donates 100 bits and says, Paying the PAL so they... See Cam, that's me. Ah. Boo, but thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you to Battlehork, who resubscribes 26 months in a row. Thank you so much. And thank you also to Magmaram for the 34-month resub. Magmaram says, Retro Pal, you say. Yeah, mm -hmm. living up to our name. Someday we'll be the Retro NTSCs. But mm -hmm. until then, tonight is dedicated to Pal Region uh, video games for the PlayStation 2. That's what they had for the PS2 video games. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, a whole bunch of games back in the day were translated into English from their original Japanese. Some even had North American releases planned, and then, nope, we're only going to release these in select parts of Europe. Deal with it, is what they said. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to deal with it. Uh, and the way I'm going to deal with it is first by showing you the poll results. This is what our patrons wanted to see this week. Mm -hmm. Super, super close. Uh, in fact, Gravity Angels got so close that I've already decided we're going to do a dedicated stream to, to that in the future. Date to be announced. But yeah, the people wanted two things this week. PAL localizations and Gravity Angels. Gravity yeah. Angels, it's going to happen. But tonight is dedicated to the PAL region people. Special thanks to friend of the show Taizo first for suggesting that poll theme and for giving us a complete lineup of stuff that we should play tonight. Thank you. So most of the stuff we're going to play is thanks to them. Thank you, Taizo. Thank you. All right. So do you have any experience with PAL region PS2 games, Alex? No. Um, aside from what you as a lovely angel have shown me and set up on your own that I have not had to touch. <laughs> Well, like I said, yeah, localization is a funny thing, and sometimes, for whatever reason, companies decide that their game is appropriate for Japan and, let's say, Scandinavia or Germany, mm -hmm. but not the U.S. of A. They just decide, nope, the Americans can't handle it, so it's going to be exclusive to those regions. Uh, stuff like the difference between NTSC and PAL, plus the PS2's infamous region lock mechanism, have made these games especially tough to play in NTSC territories, because you want it in English, but it's in a format that almost no TVs support. Uh, luckily, with modern conveniences, we can circumvent those uh, past crimes? Yeah, they're crimes. Absolutely crimes. And right the wrongs of the past, and let's play some video games starting with 10,000 bullets. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, that's a shit ton of bullets. Oh, yeah. We are going to fire at least that many over the next 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, well, fucking rip our audience. <clears throat> so this game is from a bunch of people. Check out these developer logos. Well, okay. First of all, here's the important part. Luckily, this is one of the many games released for PS2 that actually does offer an NTSC option, so thank you people for coding that in. Some games don't. Some games like Phoenix games, they're all like, oh, Americans aren't going to want to play this. Mm -hmm. And they're right. All right, are we, yeah, we're going to count these bullets. <laughs> yeah. Someone keep a count. Mm -hmm. All right, first of all, we have Taito. I was going to ask if that's a bullet, but that's just Taito. Pretty sure they just published. And then we have Blue Moon Studio? Hmm. And Procyon Studio? Is that even how you pronounce that? I have not heard of that before. And then there's Metro, the creators of Busta Groove. Okay, I've heard of them. So at least five different teams, each of which I totally trust to make a good third-person shooter for PS2. This intro I, is pretty good. I like the music in this game, I will say. gonna say more jazz and video games damn it <laughs> less orchestrated stuff more jazz yeah she had a cool gun i think that was lupon's gun 
Do you think you can shoot 10,000 bullets? Now this guy doesn't even need a gun. His feet and fists are guns. Whoa! Whoa! He was kicking guns into people! He kicked the guns into other guns, and those guns launched themselves at people. I like that! Okay, okay. This is a game for people who love bullets, and also bullet time. And boy, does this lady love guns! Holy shit! Is she from Texas? <laughs> Reminds me of, uh, you ever see Fear of a Black Hat? <laughs> I, yes, yes I have. That was, uh, Taste Tease Arsenal. <laughs> this is, can something, don't know me, I'm dead now. Can something be badass and incredibly silly at the same time? Uh, the answer is yes, and also the answer is 10,000 bullets. 10,000 bullets, or 10 dot o o o bullets. I thought that was a comma. It I... should be a comma, actually, but I think Europe does things differently. Ah, uh, okay. Europeans, uh, feel free to confirm. How do you write the number 10,000? Reply to this tweet to give me blood, extra clout. <laughs> my first thoughts were of revenge. <laughs> really hated my mom for giving That's birth to me. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's probably gonna end the same way. Okay, that is a thing in non-English speaking parts of Europe. I thought so. Okay. Nah. Just casually start firing. Yeah, I was gonna say, but no like, one gets shot. We're just shooting, just having a good time, just shooting. Damn, none of my bullets are okay, that one connected. Just... Production quality in this game is pretty darn good. This could have easily been a retail release here in the States. I don't know exactly why it was kept to PAL territories. Especially considering how much we love guns. Yeah. And drinking. Judas says, So once again, here's to God for keeping us alive. Wow, that is a dynamite line to start a game with. With Judas! Okay, I guess... <laughs> I guess we're just leaning into it. And his friend Crow. You're that thanking is... God? That doesn't sound like you, Judas. Hey, your name's Judas. So what we have here is what I'm pretty sure is a polycule? <laughs> Based on what I've seen of the first hour of the game. <laughs> what? They all kind of live together? I don't I don't really know. Anyway, one of them's named Judas. Judas loves God? Okay, someone's got to write an if info about that. Yeah, like an essay about that, not an info. Fucking... Just buy a few bottles of wine and enjoy ourselves. That's what I'm all about. Sorry, Judas, I made a promise. Unlike some people. <laughs> Gun polycule. Yeah, we all just love guns and drinking. I mean, that could be the foundation of a health. Well, I don't know if it'd be a healthy relationship. But it would be a relationship. It would be a relationship for sure. Oh right, I'm supposed to go to the other place. The other people don't deserve portraits. They're not real. Let's go to Bucho's underground shooting range. You ready, Crow? That's me. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna love this new equipment we got. We can project holograms in 3D space. We're using retinal projection. State of the art. Borderline. Science fiction stuff. Cool. Man, it's just like this movie that I saw. Inject a hologram just into my it. eye. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> poor, poor, poor whoever that guy is. Crow was not giving him any kind of room to, to elaborate about the movie he saw. Just start the fucking tutorial. Okay. Like we're you're literally getting a fucking hologram <laughs> injected into your eye and you're like, okay, whatever. <sighs> okay, so this is a pretty weird third person shooter. It does not control like you would expect modern third person shooters to control. I'm gonna try to get that across in this stream. First of all, you push square to shoot. Down to reload on the D-pad. Jump on X, that's actually normal. And you can jump. 
He's a jumper, this guy. He is he is bouncing all around. Look at him go. So yeah, the key mechanic here is holding R1 and sometimes switching between targets, but most of the time you just hold down that lock button and shoot, shoot, shoot. This is not, this is luckily not Drake of the 99, this is not Drake 99 Dragons. Uh, I've seen this, uh, a lot of Bayonetta uh, comparisons, but I, I did see the phrase Boyonetta, so there we go. <laughs> it kind of is. Also, unfortunately, the camera controls are inverted and cannot be changed. <laughs> Curses, I say. Okay, Video Game King says Drake of the 10,000 bullets. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the 99 Dragons at 10,000 bullets. And of course, because this is a mid-2000s game, there is a persistent bullet time mechanic. So you can pretend like you're Neon from The Matrix? Is that what it is? <laughs> the, the, you know, the, 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 the matrix, the, 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 the matrices, the yeah. matrices, yeah. Yeah, take that, Wall. It turns out you get a lot of bullet time in this game, too. So you can fuck around and even reload in midair and just land on the ground and shoot folks. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, see people are calling this The Mattresses, The Matrix, uh, Neon from Hattress, <laughs> and of course The Spreadsheet. And believe it or not, that's the entire tutorial. When was the last time you saw a game with, like, a two-minute tutorial? Usually you're all like, oh, I'm gonna be here for, like, half an hour. This guy's like, you must have been born with a gun in your hand. It's like, oh god, that's depressing. Yep. Very American. A trendy dating spot for the teenagers. And a training ground no assassin can, can do without. <laughs> Great dating spot, the underground uh, hologram shooting range? Well, that was fun. I'm gone. It's next-gen laser tag. I'll pass. Okay, a uh, fun fact from Lucky Boogaloo Funk here. Uh, Hot B USA actually helped the localization with the localization of this game. Beautiful. Oh, so maybe they did plan to release this over here and it just never worked out. That's a shame. This actually looks pretty interesting. Let's go back to our apartment. I am so happy there was a Hot B still around. Just. He's over here and he's asleep. Mm hmm. He's asleep. He's asleep. We're just three friends who all live together. It's it's yeah. fine. Are they all eating? Okay, so, so she made us dinner, and she had to hide our portion from Judas, or else he would have eaten it like a dog. So Judas ate all the food and got too sleepy, so he had to go take a nap. Yes, relatable. <laughs> I want to play as Judas. Get that gorging yourself mini game. Yeah, I want to know more about him. I'm sure the game tells you. He loves God and. Stealing your food and taking naps. He's a cat. Okay. Wait. Are we are we projecting religious aspirations onto cats? Because yeah, I'm, sure. I'm here for it. Okay, cool. Oh no, a bookie's gone missing. Sorry everybody, but all cats are religious now. You can fill in what a religious religious beliefs they have, but they're all just straight up religious, sorry. And Papa Tonio is at uh, ordering us to find this bookie who got lost. He's over here, I think. Beep beep. Ready to shoot 10,000 bullets? God, yes, please. It's just so strange to like. You are holding down the R1 button for most of this game, which you would usually think is the shoot button, but no, it's actually a square. It's just you gotta untrain yourself from the last 15 years of video games before you can play this. Okay. It's too quiet. I don't like it. This time it's more than just a contract hit. Okay, like always. I'll take point. You watch my back. If we make it out alive. Do Jameson sign by him. Hell yeah. Hey, I love this voice acting. Yeah, it's real good. I right, thank you to Simon for the 20 month uh, resub. Simon says, hello pals, thanks for 20 big honkin' months of great streams <laughs> and janky European exclusives. 10,000 bullets raw. Big thank honkin' you. months, thank you. Very honkin'. Let's play. And here's the video game. It is a very, very straightforward third-person shooter. Notice they get the uh, flying doves out of the way right away. Hey! Hey! Yeah! What the fuck? It's all like, well, we gotta pay tribute sometime. Might as well be right at the beginning of the game. See how you go around locking onto stuff, shooting stuff. And generally, you don't really aim in this game, which is another big change from other third-person shooters in the modern era. You just hold that R1 button and shoot whatever it locks onto. 
then when there's a whole bunch of enemies, you go into bullet time and blow up everyone. Oh, that guy survived. I like jumping and shooting. Real satisfying. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think he killed somebody. Yeah. And there they go, just dissipating into the air. Beautiful. You know, I'm sorry to say it, but the thing this game reminds me of the most is Dirge of Cerberus, <laughs> which did something very similar but much worse. I actually like this game a lot more. But it doesn't star a sexy vampire, so that's the one thing it's missing. You know, I think that... I think that all video games, not, not only do they need sexy vampires, but these vampires, they need to, you know what, they don't they don't feed on blood. That's that's so what, 20th century? They eat bullets now. <laughs> Vampires eat bullets. They fucking love it. They're like, oh hell yeah. You may enjoy a PS2 game called Vampire Night. <laughs> Vampires <laughs> eat a lot of bullets in that game. Oh good. And I will say, for as primitive as this seems compared to modern stuff, I kinda like this. It's paced really well. The levels are very straightforward, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. As a as a closed-minded gamer, <laughs> I don't like your open world. Just tell me where to go and who to shoot. There's also a mechanic where, shortly after locking on, the reticle turns red, and that gives you a critical hit if you shoot during that time. Like that. So, it was a uh, question from chat. Was this a budget title or a full price title? I want to say this was full priced. I know it at least got a full price release in Japan. My name is Keats Eichmann. You are Crow from the Tonio family. Or should I call you Bloody Crow? I don't remember. Bloody Crow Tonio. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. Famous by killing me. I am not interested in fame. What I want is your life. Why? What makes me so special? This is the destiny of our kind, Crow. Sorry, it's been at least 30 seconds since I pointed a gun at someone. Alright, Electric Boogaloo and I, I saw someone else mention earlier, but uh, this game uh, was uh, made by the creator of Suikoden, uh, Yoshitaka Moriyama, uh, and Blue Moon was their studio at the time. Holy crap, wow. I never knew that. <laughs> yes, but because he wants to be the fourth roommate. <laughs> Let like, me in. Let me join you and Judas. I want Judas to eat my food, too! <laughs> Woo! Cool spin! Alright, so we gotta look really cool during this boss fight. And with careful timing, you can get a whole bunch of- Oh god, he's dancing. He's invincible when he does that. Now you wanna shoot him when that red reticle appears. That does a bunch of damage. He also splits. And I have to remember what the change target button is. It's R2. Uh, welcome to everyone joining us. We're That's playing <laughs> a bullet game where we shoot people. Yep. I it's know, a bullet crazy, game. but... A C? That was like a new world record. Oh, uh, Judas is going to eat so much more of your food now. <laughs> you just got a C rank. You don't deserve dinner. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for you to die. All right. Damn. Damn. What was that about? Someone you know? No, but he seemed to know me. All these people seem to f survive firefights pretty much unscathed. Okay, Taizo in chat says that this game was pr like mid-priced. Okay. Alright, so like a $39.99 kind of thing. Don't you remember I was the guy who taught you about guns? You didn't even know guns existed before me. You're like, what's a gun? This is the job I deserve, or should I say, Job. Oh. There you go, we got Bible jokes. I just... Oh, I'm into Judas being Judas <laughs> and fucking... Oh, this is... Danny, I love this dumb as shit plot that's real on the nose. <laughs> I love it. It's good. I love dumb as shit games with plots that are super on the nose. Where are we going to next? Well, not the bar. Oh wait, no! He is here. Our 
creatures of the same blood. The blood who loves guns. What? Hold on, hold on. What's this about pure it's blood? It's pure blood. I just, I love it. Okay, so I was talking about vampires, but is this guy a vampire? Are these, are these bullet vampires? Give to me your blood. Okay, okay. No, I, I take it back. Maybe, maybe, okay. He's a vampire, but his fangs are bullets. Think about it. Okay, uh, musicians here are, uh... Yasunori Mitsuda and um, Miki Hikashino. It's a Mitsuda soundtrack? Damn. Yeah. They even go nuts with the saxophones. From a coward in a cheap gangster suit. Ooh. I prefer to think of myself as a realist. <laughs> Which is why we're going to shoot each other to death. Beautiful. Now this fight took me a few tries in practice, but I'm going to try my best to not get a game over here because the next scene is definitely worth watching. All right, well, everyone give Danny your strength. Let's play. Let's play is what I say before I make my next YouTube series. <laughs> I... <laughs> I love the way they go flying yeah, through the air when you shoot them, too. It's so good. The bullets feel really powerful, especially in slow-mo. Go. They're behind me. Watch me flip. That was five kills in midair. Okay, that was pretty cool. Listen. I'm the coolest dude in the world. Don't like. Don't know how I feel about gun violence, but, it, but this is pretty cool, I will say. Yeah. This is when gun violence was cool. <laughs> okay. I'm banning Danny myself. That's all hurt. I'm gonna say on the subject. <laughs> Time to jump. Here we go. Pretty sure I shot through my coat just now. <laughs> this poor coat. Hey, does your coat not have, like, protection? Maybe it does. Anyway, from what I played, this is a pretty neat game. I actually had fun with it despite its simplicity, or maybe because of it. Most games of this type nowadays just bore me, frankly, but something about this game makes it fun and interesting. Maybe it's the characters or the presentation. I was gonna say, because so, it's kind of stupid. It is kind of stupid. I appreciate that. Give me stupid games. God, please. Especially ones with bad voice acting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And boy, if you think this voice acting's bad, have I got some games for you. I am so excited, Dan. You have no idea. Or maybe you do. You know how much I love shitty voice acting. It is... Because there, there's this, and then there's Jalico voice acting. But we'll get there. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this is the hard part. Okay. Because this motherfucker splits, and, and then he does pirouettes and shit. And you can't shoot him, and all his clones keep shooting you, and it's frustrating. The bad part is the clones can also pirouette and turn invincible. Which... I love this pirouetting! Oh my god! King! He's getting fancy with it. I'm gonna save that health up. Oh yeah. I can flip from you though. I'll tell him for you. Danny! For loading such a pain in the ass. I just wanna keep shooting, you know? I don't know why, but I'm really bothered by the fact that his clones can also pirouette. <laughs> it's like, not only do I waste your time, but my clones do too. Okay, you can't damage him when he's in his recoil animation. You can't run from me. Oh, but you can gain some health, so that's good. Yeah. Look at all these bullets! That's a lot. Uh, do L1 and uh, L2 do anything? Um, they make you dodge, but I'm not good at that. Okay. I haven't played this game enough. Should I go going for criticals, or should I just shoot the shit out of him? I... I mean, don't ask me. <laughs> I've... 
Oh god, this is going badly. This is going real badly. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay. I do like that they have custom blue screens to these bosses. We're gonna try this one more time and then I'm gonna load my game. Because okay. I did I did prepare for this eventuality. Game's real tough. What I don't like is they have a difficulty selection on the options screen, but you can only select normal. It doesn't let you change it. Cool that he started firing during the cutscene. That's nice. That, that is unfair! <laughs> Say K pop? I think he said take him out, but you know what? Oh, That's okay. what he said. He didn't say, actually, no, he didn't say K pop. He said cake pops. He's singing about the early 2000 mm, sens food sensation. Yeah. I love the pirouetting. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Also having to turn yourself around just so you can get the lock on is a little bit inconvenient. Look at all the bullets! The game that is, is slowing 10, down. Bullets. The game is slowing down from too many goddamn bullets. Nice. Oof, this is a tough one. I'm sure there's some strategy to this that I'm just not getting. But when the dude can split into five forms. And also leave the ones that he previously spawned, that's kind of a problem. Maybe it's all the experience with modern games that has dulled my gamer senses. Like I'm not, I'm not ready for a real action game anymore. Okay. It's dropping frames now. Not us, the game. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I'll have to Google this off with some more info here. Um, the character designs are by Ryoji uh, Minagawa, who you may remember from the manga series Project Arms and Spriggan. Wow! Wow, Spriggan guy, huh? Neat. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's... And he split again. Oh man, this is so mean. This game is mean. Okay, we're just laying on that trigger now. Oh, that wasn't even him! It was one of his clones! Nuts. Ah, oh, this game is so mean. Yeah, this is the only fault I can find with this. It is ridiculously tough. Like, this is the first boss. But that's okay, I have a save just after I beat this guy. Okay, but I like this guy. I'm sorry. I like him a lot. I'm so sorry that he's killing you. I do think that is problematic in this case. Mm -hmm. But I love his attitude and his style. And Yeah, he's a go-getter. He's gonna... Yeah. That kid's gonna go places. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be the star of the next generation's video games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're all gonna be talking about him. It's a shame this game is so tough, because the cutscenes really make it worth it to play through this one. Like, I really want to get good at this so I can see just where the story goes and what stupid shit they're gonna say next. Speaking of which, let's go to... here, maybe? One of these places is our next destination. I just, I dig this music. Someone's after you. I can't tell you who. Okay, bye. Yeah, this is like this is like a lot of jams to listen to while you study or whatever. I like it. I mm -hmm. like this music. Here we go. This is the good shit. What the hell? <laughs> Stranger, that name's Joe. And you can call me like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you fooled us. Way too slow. You really a gunslinger friend? Oh, games are good. The Rodrigo family? You think I could afford to look this good? Look at that outfit. He's so 2000s. I love him. Worth my time. And I'm pretty fast. Hey, fellas. Kill this chump. I love this giant scarf. So, you see what I mean about wanting to play through this and yet it being so difficult? Mm -hmm. Ugh. It's such a contradiction. But, 
10,000 Bullets, I think, if you're like me, you will be intrigued by this game. It's got a mixture of some questionable gameplay with some really unforgettable cutscenes. <laughs> First time I saw that dude get hit by a car, I laughed and laughed. And from here, the game goes on like this. I blew up a school bus. And there were still gangsters coming out of it. But anyway, we should move on. We got a bunch I of guess, stuff I want to cover. I guess, but I love this game, Danny! It's good. I would like to see more of it. Maybe someday I'll uh, use Game Shark on it or something. Apparently, that was... the more game overs you get, you uh, unlock easy modes. Five game overs get you an easy mode. Five game overs in easy mode get you a very easy mode. Thank you for oh, the info as the fang subs is a possibility at that's... some point. That, yeah, that makes this way more likely we'll see more of 10,000 bullets in the future. That's a pretty good way of doing it, too. It's uh, Ninja Gaiden style. The, uh, the remake. Mm -hmm. Next up, that was a pretty lengthy look at a single game, so here's a game we're just going to play for a couple minutes. But I think you're going to understand why once I show this off. Next game is Fishing Fantasy Buzzrod. Buzzrod? Buzzrod. Exclusive to Japan and Europe, like all of tonight's games. You familiar with the mythical Buzzrod? N no. Neither am I. Oh, give me that NTSC. No need for a test. Thank you. God. I. Yeah, euphemism for a fishing rod. Oh. Why do you need a euphemism for a fishing rod? Yeah, huh? 505, they somehow turned into a major publisher within the last decade, but way back when, they were making all kinds of garbage for uh, European PS2s in particular. Then there's Starfish, who is kind of almost an indie developer at the time. They yeah, made like, a... Uh, oh, go on. I was going to say, Electro Boogaloo Boo Boo says that they are a uh, Hot B successor company. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another Hot B connection, two in a row. A lot of hot bees tonight. They did uh, a game that was very similar to Pocky and Rocky called Heavenly Guardian, I think. Fishing Fantasy. Buzzrod. Alright. The jams. I think you're gonna like the hero of this story. Okay, I actually didn't watch this when I played this game. So we're gonna skip it here. Okay, too. it was the Kingdom of England, but England was spelled with an I? Yeah, Fantasy England. Look at this. Hey, what the fuck? Look at this rat. I know a lot of folks come to this stream just um. to see gay rats. And this is uh this is a honey of a rat right here. Look at him. This oh my god. And this... bad news, it's a 3D platformer too. <laughs> Where the jump button is triangle. God help me. Luckily, you don't do too much platforming. Uh, all that you do is fish. And we're gonna try and catch a fish. That's my aim in showing off this game. Alright. Look at that icon, it's his stupid face. I love this character. I love him so much. I, I actually, actually, I don't know who they are, but I love them. They are. You know, I'd have a polycool with them, sorry. Yeah, join up with Judas. Judas, this rat man. And once you're in the water, it basically turns into Sega bass fishing. Okay, uh, Taizo says that his name is Pat Possum, so he's like more of a possum oh, than a rat? Oh, it's okay. a possum. Wow. Even better, I love possums. Okay. You so rarely see possum protagonists. Okay, once the fish takes notice, then you have to... Do something kind of unusual. You have to reel in just enough to make them interested, but it uses the analog properties of the PlayStation 2's face buttons, which very few games did. So I have to be very careful about how hard I push the X button. Like, best is when you... Okay, not too much. I think I already lost his interest. Shit. <laughs> Gosh. That thing so, sucks. Goodbye. It's actually kind of tough, and it... I guess it approximates using a real fishing rod controller, kinda. I gotta say, I've never seen another fishing game approach this gameplay exactly the same way. Like right now, I'm holding the button very softly, and then I'm gonna apply more pressure, and now I'm gonna push real hard. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Of, not a lot of games actually utilize that feature, did they? Mm-mm. The Metal Gear Solids did, and yet no one else did. Probably for the best, because I kind of hate it. 
<laughs> Especially in racing games where you hold the button down all the time. Let's try that again. Okay, go Danny, go. Just gonna give this a couple attempts, but mainly I wanted to introduce you to our possum pal. He's not a rat. He's a possum. You know, we haven't had too many possums on stream aside from that one bastard. So I'm glad to see more. Oh, come on. I guess awesome possum isn't a huge bat. Well, a little bit of a bastard. Got him! No! Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry! Ass! <laughs> Just decided right at the end, no. Actually, I don't want this. I'm gonna wait for something better here in this, uh, this pool in the ruins that nobody visits. And that was just ignoring me. Still, if you love fishing games, this is a PAL exclusive one you probably want to check out. One more try. No, fuck it, I want to make this dude run around a little. Listen to that sound he makes when he runs. And he has a, such a cute little vest. And little sneakers. Oh my god, those little shoes. Oh, his I want His socks wanna... match his vest. <laughs> it's a coordinated possum. Okay, okay, some some uh, fun Taito facts here. Apparently, Heavenly Guardian started out as Kiki Kai Kai 2, but it didn't end up not happening because Square bought Taito, and they were like, no license for you. Fuck Ooh, off. yeah, that was a bad time to be making license mm -hmm. deals. That's unfortunate. On. Good. Better. Better. <laughs> That's Fishing Fantasy. A game where the fish don't take the fucking bait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. You're fine. We're normal. Don't worry It's not about, about it. the fishing, though. It's more about being a possum in some ancient ruins. Mm -hmm. Consider it, won't you? But speaking of rats, have I got a game for you. Oh, I'm excited for this rat. Next up is a game we gotta play. If we're talking about PAL exclusive PlayStation 2 localizations, you gotta talk about Gregory Horror Show. This is a game from Capcom, only released in Japan and Europe. It's based on a Japanese CG animated TV show. I almost said kids show, but... It's not for kids. Reading the synopsis, it is not a kids show. It sounds, frankly, terrifying. And the game follows suit. It's also very creepy. And yet... Everything's so cute looking. I can't really reconcile that. Maybe someone can explain this better than me. I mean, it's it's cute, but it's also it's cute but like sick, twisted and fucked up, which a lot of stuff in that early 2000s era was like Oh, true. Oh, like Happy Tree Friends. Yeah, yeah, it's like the Happy Tree Friends vibe. It's a little bit more sophisticated though. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, because it's Capcom internally developed and published even. All right, here it is. I remember seeing previews for this in American Game Magazines, and I was... Yeah, there's stuff in the dialogue that makes me think this game got really close to a U.S. release. Like, the voice acting will say that something is garbage, while uh, the text will say it's rubbish. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Give me that in TSC. Real high-quality looking game, too. Great graphical presentation, really intriguing premise. 707 f fuck you that's a lie it's too much so i've never seen i've only heard of this but i've always been interested so i guess this will be my first exposure to the i think you're gonna love it okay to the gregory horror media show time to get some souls uh that all looks good now, the star of the show is Mr. Gregory, the guy who runs this haunted hotel. We're going to get introduced to him in a second. Okay. I found myself walking through a deep forest in a thick fog. How did I get here? I should have been home by now. So from what I know, this game is about... I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. A hotel that robs you of your sense of self, essentially. Oh, hey! And I... people who stay here, uh, Do you it's... you need it's, a room for the night? It's a bit like the old Hotel California, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? I love... Well, I love him. I'll get a room ready for you. Yeah, he's nice. He's I'm... giving us a free room. 
Okay, I'm I'm getting Mansion of Hidden Souls vibes. Sorry. Ooh, a little bit. Come to think of it. I love. I'm sorry. I love Japanese games about being stuck in a house and losing your sense of self. Yeah. I'm sorry. We <laughs> oh need my way god, more that is that. Mansion of Hidden Souls. Mm -hmm. Oh, pardon me for asking. It, it's nice that he asks. Well. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll I respect your pronouns. You your I love room. him. What a cool guy. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. Oh, I love him. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, uh, or maybe you just lost your mind. Like in Mansion that of Hidden Souls, joke. nice. <laughs> Are we gonna turn into a butterfly? Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> it's a little bit cubivorish. I was thinking the same thing, you know? Is 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 a when I was like a, a teen or whatever in that era, I actually thought that this was all like related or some shit. I was like, is this just a new aesthetic? And so I fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. Depending on how this goes, I may end up playing it's, this more for Halloween. Throw away all them worries. Forget <laughs> about them. <laughs> huh? I can tell you ain't from around these parts. What's the deal, bud? Are you lost or something? Don't be embarrassed. You can tell me. Oh yeah, that is the Swedish flag. Yeah, I was gonna ask, why is that <laughs> Swedish? Swedish, by the way, of Brooklyn. How's about I make you a little deep? See, my job is removing lost souls from the living world. And that hotel is full of lost souls, what needs to be removed right away. Oh, we gotta kill people. Cool. You go in and find them, well, I'll show you we just gotta remove their souls. Um, Which, uh, well. Got somebody you can use. It's a little small, but hey. What you gonna do, right? <laughs> what are you gonna do? When you find them all, come see me again in your dreams. You got that? Steal yeah, it's it. it's basically Joel, yeah. <laughs> so we somehow came here without a body. We had to rent one from the Brooklyn skeleton. That's us. Oh my god, we're perfect. Mm-hmm. So at the beginning, there's two gameplay mechanics, one of which is knocking on stuff to, to examine it. Everything makes realistic knocking noises. And when you knock on a door, you open it. I'm wrong, you push X to open it. Oh, okay. Wow, cube pants. Here's this other mechanic. Prior to opening doors, you can push triangle to peek. Seems a little rude. And sometimes the people you peep on notice you. Yes. So go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. To get to the lobby, just go straight. Yeah, let's do that. Got it. Yeah, the lighting and the aesthetic in this game, I agree, no problems. The lighting and the aesthetic in this game is really good. This is a great looking game. It's very striking. Just pretty much any screenshot you see has some excellent lighting. Like, look at this. The shadows. Super creepy. It. Hey, uh, can we have that key? The key to the room next door? The cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. He doesn't like cats. A dangerous cat indeed. I mean, that makes sense. He was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. Then, one stormy night, long ago, someone sewed everything shut. Eyes. Yikes! Mouth. Ears. Oh, what a horrible thing! Oh! That is fucked Since up! Then, he's been a nasty beast. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key! Wow, who could have done that to him? Well then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. 
And this is when I made the horrifying discovery that this game is literally Chulip. It's exactly Chulip. You go around trying to find people at their weakest so you can get their souls. In Chulip, it's kisses. Uh, and it has a clock, and everyone follows routines. So you have to manage when people are in and out of their rooms, and that determines when you can get specific items. It is 100% just Chulip. And I'm horrified as someone who played all the way through Chulip. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I'll say right now, Chulip is one of my favorite PS2 games, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. It is a painful playthrough, but it is so, so good. Maybe right. someday we'll play it. Maybe one of these days. Uh, some info about the designers here. Uh, let's see, the lead game designer is uh, Shino Okamura, who you may remember as a planner from Mega Man Extreme 1 and 2 for Game Boy Color, and one of the game designers of Sengoku uh, Basura, Devil Kings, and Mega Man X8. Now, the director, uh, Ero uh, Shirahama, uh, direct, also directed Mega Man X8 and Resident Evil Dead Aim. They also worked on a couple of Platinum Games projects as well, including Mad World, Bayonetta 2. Okay, it's interesting. Yeah, some Capcom I'm veterans so here. hungry. Is it dinner yet? I don't know what Jack Catch means. We meet at last. My name is Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scary? A little bit. Oh no. I don't need your sympathy. <laughs> you ready, Rat Boy? The guests. That would be a good thumbnail for this episode. Mm -hmm. for all eternity. Patchwork Cat calling you a Rat Boy. So I mean, not going to give up their souls that easy. I'm not wrong. So, you have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. It's First, so similar to the point where I wonder which inspired notes. which, Chulip or Gregory Horror Show. I think in Japan they came out practically at the same time. Uh, Chulip, of course, only got its US localization many, many years after it was originally made. It was released at the tail end of the PS2's lifespan. They thought Americans couldn't appreciate it, and they were right. Mm-hmm. So he's teaching us about the keyhole mechanics here. Are you ready? And this part of the game is actually kind of creepy. Did you see me? Now, I'll tell you about my weak point. Yes, my weak point is food. Because when you're peeking through these rooms, you actually can maneuver the camera to look around the, the corners and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you move too fast, it makes a really unpleasant noise that makes you easily spotted. I'm hungry. So really the game involves just peeking in, figuring out what the people want. You want okay. something that's not cold. So, so Jack Catch is a real person. He was an infamous, according to Estefan, he was an infamous English executioner employed by King Charles II, who was fucking awful at his job. Complete hack job. Uh, he would take multiple attempts to execute people. Oh my god, he was bad at his job. I'm hungry. Okay, we've learned some things, and we have some possible ideas about what the cat might want to eat. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back in. It was something not cold and sweet. So, a mobile phone. Nope. Try again. Okay, uh... Chocolate. Crisps. You can tell this is a UK localization. I was gonna say banana is sweet and not too cold. Nah, too cold. I'll give you this. For that effort, we get... His immortal soul. I picked this up somewhere a long time ago. Oh, maybe someone else's soul. You can help. There's a random soul I found. Don't worry about it. I don't need it anymore. Give, give the. There it is. Maybe what makes it so creepy is that so much of it just straight up looks like a kids show or a kids game, and yet, mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet here we are collecting souls. You're right. This is a mansion of hidden souls. Jesus Christ. I guess we have to play this now. Yes! Another Souls-like! About time. So we meet death in our dreams. That's the, uh, the Brooklyn skeleton. He's Brooklyn, but he's got like a Swedish flag on his hat. I, whatever. Yeah, that's very confusing. I guess I gotta watch the show. Alright, let's go to sleep and dream a dream 
of giving away some souls. Hell yeah. Come on now. Give it up. Throw away all them worries. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh. Did you manage to pick up any souls? Yeah, a couple. You brought me a lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. He's impressed with us. Okay. Nice. I love impressing my boss. Also, my boss is apparently a Swedish Grim Reaper. With a Brooklyn accent. Hey, the Brooklyn hey, hey listen. Here, it takes all kinds in this beautiful board. world of ours. <laughs> He's gonna stamp our card. Hey, ten souls gets you a free hot dog. <laughs> Just keep finding them and bringing them back to me. Man, I got like eight stamps at, uh, what's the, the hot dog place here in town? I already forgot. Oh my god. Oh, I know. It had a really stupid about. name. Yeah, I had like eight out of ten stamps, and then freaking quarantine happened. Am I ever gonna fill out the rest of those stamps? Whenever you get one, go Did to we? sleep, and I'll catch up with you in your dreams. Was that the hot dog place we went to after we got oh, our marriage certificate? Buddy. I think so, yeah. <laughs> they had that uh, peanut butter and jelly and Captain Crunch dog that I was Oh, riding. nice. Damn it, I wish I could remember the name. It's so stupid. Okay, I'm like, this is, okay, I'm still, I, I gotta look this up now. Okay. Austin Hot Dog Place with really stupid name. Austin Hot Dog Stupid. <laughs> no, not Hot Dog. I don't know what Hot Dog is. Hot Dog. Did look up Hot Dad. Well? I've got to talk to you about you know what. Do you know Catherine? Mm -mm. Oh, wait, no, I know that game. Time for a blood test. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Lady, it's not Friday. You can't Excuse do that. Excuse me! She draw blood from people she doesn't like. She lives ah. down for me in room 104. Shh. Somebody's listening. She's listening in on us. <laughs> I heard that. This is some Friday shit. Yep. She's horny for blood. I think it's time for a blood sample. Pretty spooky. So some of these residents actually do pose a threat to you, so it's not just making them mad if you spy on them and they discover you. Like some may inject a giant needle into you, I guess. Uh -huh. I'll give you some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. Nah. We got it. Okay, I'm gonna read you some dog places. Yeah. Mission dogs. No. Dog house. No. Spiked dogs. Oh my god, they're cool, whoever that is. I think that's Gregory's grandkid or something. They're the comic relief. Yes, James! Garbage, also known as rubbish. What if someone stepped on it and had an accident? Okay. Was it called Diddy Dog? Where is that no. Rat? We'll figure it out. I'm the one who has to clean up all of your messes. Twenty-five places to eat hot dogs in Austin. Hang on. Hold on. We're we're learning <laughs> the. Okay, Danny. The, the, this is important. The game. Hold up. Gregory is just. <laughs> uh, Catherine's here. Oh my god. Uh, hang on, Catherine. I'll oh, find out. The evil wiener? To terrible things to we'll figure this out later, Danny. Glory hole? I think After the show. By running away. <laughs> After the show, honey. Um, she wants you to run. You want to answer me why there's a hot dog place called Glory Hole here in Austin? Some, some mysteries are more important than others, you know? So yeah, she doesn't actually attack us. Instead, she makes our job tougher by running away. And that's where the game begins, trying to figure out how to track down all these different guests, figuring out what they want, and how to get their precious, precious souls. That's Gregory Horror Show. It is a very lengthy game, and there's only so much I can show off in a, in a showcase format. Yeah. But, but it's interesting, isn't it? That is interesting. Why did you tell me that there was a hot dog place called the Glory Hole in town? I don't... I'm just mystified, and I still didn't find the name of that. I think it was Man Bites Dog. Was it was. The name of the place. It may not exist anymore, too. Oh, man. Well, you oh. know how it goes. I'll never get that cart filled out. Oh, 
maybe get another card filled out. Maybe a card you can maybe you can get. Oh, a card. oh boy, is that game next? Oh I'll, my god. I'll okay. Make, okay, I'll make you a card with all these bad like, and when you make, play ten bad games on stream, you get a free uh, uh, hot dog. How's that? Cool. Sounds good to me. Same thing, but better. All right, moving on from Lost Souls, Horny Snakes, and Hot Dogs, we have our next game. Mm -hmm. uh, early in the stream, I teased that there was way vo worse voice acting to come after 10,000 bullets. Well, our next game is from our friends at Jalico. It is World Super Police. This is a good one. I really, really enjoyed this one when I played it last night. All right, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, okay. Okay, you've got a shot here of a uh, glory hole for you. Oh, it's a truck. Wow, I definitely want to order food from a skeezy truck with the name glory hole on it. Hey, these hot dogs are gourmet, so it's going to be all right. But speaking... But I, I should focus let's, on let's what's get, really important. Let's get back in the spirit of Tokyo. Okay, let me just adjust this. Now, the story in this game is that highway crime is on the rise, specifically crimes committed while on and around the highway necessitating the invention of super-powered cop cars. Like, you know, sometimes someone goes berserk with a monster truck. Maybe Bigfoot goes nuts. Who's gonna take him down? Who put a chain gun on Bigfoot? That's the question. I'm already seeing people talking about the real world so ugly. Yeah, this is... No oh good time yeah. To play this game. So yeah. Let's just do there's it, there's yeah. not going to be a good time to play this game, but police militarization is real as hell in this world. Yeah, this is kind of like what if police militarization was fun and not something to catch you awake all night. Yeah, just having a good time. You can't have Bigfoot's rampaging across the highways. Who's going to protect us? Sick. That is fucking sick. Oh my god. That sign said like 20 miles to Virtual City. <laughs> Listen, we all want monster trucks with chain guns. I agree. But... Uh, can you please pull over? No. <laughs> well, we gave you a chance. Oh my god! This is like learning that those like those cops in schools had grenade launchers. Like, what are you doing with this? Yeah. Look, they got to be ready for if a Bigfoot comes rampaging through school. True. true the truck, true. not the not the creature. No. Well, maybe the creature too. Who knows? Fuck it. Oh, Jalico and Midas, a match made in hell. <laughs> I'm in love already. Here we fucking go. Now, there's two stories in this game. You can choose to be a part of the Japanese police force. Or World Super Police in USA, who has a much more unhinged and off-the-rail storyline, in my experience. So let's go ahead and see what's up in the USA. All right. WSP, the World Super Police, an organization created of special task force to oppose the increasing criminal activity on the world highways. And on a hospital bed lies Alicia, the team leader of the East Coast WSP team, Red Hawk. Her eyes fluttered and she uttered in a whisper, I lost. These were the first words from her return from hell. What? what? Well, that's mostly what the text said. He kind of <laughs> added in his own flair there. Red Hawk returns. Hey, this voice acting is... I'm gonna Jeff lower is. my voice so I sound really badass. It is very badass. Oh my god, this scene. Where? What am I? You're back. I was worried. Who are you? This fucking it art! It looks like you're still confused. I'm Magano, the chief of Red Hawk. And you are Alicia Masterson, the team of Red Hawk. The team of Red Hawk. We were after Bandit Snatch, the notorious road gang. Or Bandit Snatch, as he said. Bandit Snatch, we I've, I've heard of that. I watched half of that. Mm -hmm. All are gone except you. So we're the only surviving member of our police team who was wiped out by Bandit Snatch. All right, we everyone in chat's calling him Tim Curry from uh, Red Alert. <laughs> it does really look like him. Even the, the medals and shit on his chest. Only me? Yes, only you. Yes, 
I remember. Everyone's dead. Due to my misjudgment. And McGonagall is just pleased as punch about it. Look and at him. Why am I alive? <laughs> He's I so should happy. have been dead. <laughs> yeah, you should have been dead. You do have unfinished business. You can't die. <laughs> cool I superpower. Have to finish off those scums. Those devils of the highway. Those scums. Those scums. You got it right. <laughs> Personnel and all gears are being readied. You need more time to be fit. I'll do it. I'll do it alone if I have to. Welcome back, Alicia. That's that's a pose. What are you posing for? I don't know, have me the time. What do you mean? Do you remember me? I'm the Red Hawk operator. I'm sorry to get you going so soon. We have a mission. There is a speeding vehicle on the New York City Expressway. Oh my god, someone's speeding? Target is the black sports car. It's actually a job for the state troopers, but they're too fast for state trooper vehicles. Wow, anti-state trooper technology. So now it's our job. Our vehicles are still under repair. They can run, but the weapons are not functioning. Yeah, you can't shoot anyone in the first level, unfortunately. This is an easy job. We don't need Jesus. weapons to stop them. Look at that outfit. That is a Jalico ass outfit that if is... I've ever seen one. That's yes. right, Alicia. You've got it. That fucking cigar. It was nice of him not to smoke in the hospital, but that's why his uh, portrait looks so weird back there. Okay, that's supposed sense. to be a good warm up for you. It's all yours. Alicia Masterson, here we go! <laughs> that... What an incredibly Japanese thing to say. Alright, here we go. No way, that's that's what. Alicia Ikimas! Is what I can imagine what that line originally was. Who's ever said, Danny, here I go? Hey, I've. No, I've never said that in my fucking life. <laughs> Let's scramble. No, excuse me. Danny, here I go. Who's played this game? Who else has experienced the joy of World Super Police? Because I am so sad I'd never heard of this game before yesterday. Keep going and you will see the target. Got it. I mean, it's a Jalco jam, so I'm surprised I've never heard of it before. Now you get three sirens. You get this one. This one. Pull over. They're escaping. Don't pull around. And this one. Which do you prefer? I prefer off. I, I do too. Uh, I don't know why <laughs> it's so go. dark. It's just, it's a dark day. It's a gloomy day. Well, we're starting off in the morning. This is like 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. Cops work 24-7, man. And if someone's speeding, we're gonna ram the shit out of them. We're gonna kill these motherfuckers. Now, here's the point where you may realize, oh god, this is Chase HQ, but Jalico. And yes, that is exactly what it is. Oh my god. Jalico made a Chase HQ ripoff. For PS2. And the US was spared from this release. Why? I would have loved this game. I would love to have this game in my collection. God, I agree with all that fucking popping in this game is beautiful. Yeah, it's good. This is such a PS2 game. Wish I could see, but what can you do? At least I have my sirens off, so it makes it a little bit easier to see. Also, nice and spacious highways, right yeah. next to right next to buildings too. Let's see if I can get up to that guy, cause your timer does replenish. Okay, good. Okay, you see him. And for the crime of speeding, he's going to die. Yep. Alicia to headquarters. I'm going to stop the vehicle now. This is Red Hawk headquarters. Good luck. Do what you gotta do. Okay, uh, so apparently while well, this was produced by Jalco, it was actually developed by Duel. Who the hell is Duel? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna look this up, actually. What else is Duel done? Hey, you, quit speeding! Alright. I did. said, quit speeding! Uh, they to get To get a lot of damage, you gotta hit him on the side. Okay, it looks like they've done some things. They did, uh... He's pretty fucked up. I think we're about to stop him. Okay. Anything I've heard of? Uh, Tailspin for Game Boy. Ooh, Did got him. That? that guy's yeah. dead as shit. William Light, no rock board. That's paradise for Game Boy. The Game Boy port of the Mega Man board game. Nice. 
Ooh, Tetris for Palm Pilot. Well, we all blew him up. Well and, no one was hurt. and best of all, no one was hurt. Upon investigation. We found out that the oh, shit, they was super air a member of the New York Paradise. City Road Gang, Borogo. The arrested gang member was fearless and kept repeating that his fellow brothers will come get him out. Well, we'll see. They are coming to be arrested personally by me. <laughs> okay. Oh. By me. Oh, and they did Predator for NES. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that. That is a that is a high level Kusoge right there. Suddenly I'm way more interested in this game. So yeah, it's really basic and kind of janky Chase HQ, which is how we like it around here. Mm -hmm. This police car is called the Excalibur. Good, good. We have a new member. I'm glad to be on the team. <laughs> Linda! Good to have you. Hey Linda. Hi. Linda looks tired. I'm Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I love his goatee. I'm excellent it's killing me. Excellent moments in voice acting. Uh, I, I'm Lard. I'm Lard. End of scene. That's it. <laughs> I'm Lard. <laughs> okay, now I. Alicia was the only one that returned. Oh, this cool guy's from voice a is back. Devastating battle with a road gang. Bandit snatch. That... She was Bandersnatch, not, not Bandit Snatch. Okay. She had to keep on fighting the criminals. Got it. Criminal activities were on the increase, and she was determined to face the fangs of the evil. The fangs of the evil. Let's face it. In Borogov. Borogov. <laughs> All the voice acting in this game is really. It's so Being good, isn't it? On the New York City freeway. I. Mm. They're armed with it's a almost thrower. Castle Shikigami 2 caliber. Almost. No one can, can quite compare with Castle Shikigami 2, but this comes damn the close. Target is a black sports car and a green sports car. Another black sports car with flames on it. Well, can we just not sell those? It seems like only criminals drive them. Proceed immediately to the area. Stop okay, no, nope, nope, we can't we sell cars anymore that say is. I like to do crime on them. Owning <laughs> everything? I can't allow that. It appears that they are members of Borigo. Borigo. Isn't the guy we arrested with Borigo? If we get them, maybe we can get some valuable information. That means we can use flamethrowers. This is getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if we stop these guys, we can take their flamethrowing technology and use it in our own police car. Oh, so we have civil forfeiture in this game. Yep. Where, where you just, okay, where you, okay. Uh, luckily at this point, we don't even need flamethrowers because we have the real cars that have, uh, well, you'll see. So, this... tutorial mode is over, now we get the real police cars. You ready to stop the destruction? By setting more shit on fire? Sure! No, we're gonna stop the destruction. Okay. The radar. Don't lose them. We're gonna stop the destruction, steal their weapons, and then use them ourselves. Got it. Okay, stealth mode. No sirens. Okay. Now starting here... Oh, you have machine guns. And you can take down everyone on the road without penalty. Escaping. Don't fool around. <laughs> okay, we won't, we won't fool around and Quit shoot Quit fucking our around by machine. blowing up civilian vehicles. We got a job to do. You have two different guns. One is this one, the old dual shot. You get a lock on. Cars blow up pretty nice. And then there's uh, this one, which is also a dual shot, but it fires a little bit faster. Alright, cultural context from Devil Ray. So, in uh, Japan, dark colored foreign cars are associated with gangsters and yakuza. So oh, okay. I see. That makes sense then. I've seen that kind of added, that kind of in it was, America. It was the black car in Shinmu that caused all the trouble. Damn. On that Damn, day, did point. you see a black car with flamethrowers? Now, this level I haven't actually beaten. I will <laughs> say. These backgrounds kind of freak me out because they're nice and bright, but not detailed at all. They look really strange if you look at them too closely. Just the lack of detail does something. Not sure what it is. Yeah, and 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 yeah, I, I agree. You know, once you with, with Chad here, once you've got hood-mounted flamethrowers, you know, that that may be a sign that you're selling a vehicle that someone's going to use to cause problems. But what what do I know? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe it's an aftermarket kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know how to drive. I don't, I don't know about this. one of the leaders of Oh, oops! I almost used up all my ammo already. Don't worry about it. 
just gotta kill these guys. You just gotta lay on the gun as hard as possible, so much so that it slows the game down. That's it, one of two. Holy shit, you're killing a lot of Oh, whoops, that wasn't the guy. <laughs> Sorry, you had a green car. I was after a green car, you see. <laughs> getting away oh from the target. Don't lose it. I'm starting to slow down and so is the game. Okay, no. Oh, okay, no one was injured. Never mind. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. You just blow up cars, but it's fine. The best part is no one's ever injured. Amazing. Certainly not that guy. Mm -mm. It's like Speed Racer. It's like the American version of Speed Racer. They just, they're fine. They're totally fine. Mm -hmm. The one problem with this game is once you slow down at all, it's real hard to catch up. Uh, this level I never actually beat during my testing, so this is as far as I've gotten. Oh, God. Yeah, any collision. Thanks, dude. <laughs> any collision Sorry. just removes a ton of your speed, and it makes it real hard to catch back up. Okay, we got him on the horizon. Let's get him before he takes his flamethrower to the city. Let's uh, switch to our ammo type we got more of. Don't worry about it. Don't just, just you know. I hear the working U.S. title for this was Cops That Don't Give a Fuck. <laughs> this is just, you know, this is, you know, yeah, your car got blown up, but this is the cost of freedom, you know? It's yeah. Like... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Flip back over, did you see that? Oh, honey, honey, your first day is a World Super Police. Right? Oh, that's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's World Super Police for the PlayStation 2. A mixture of extremely jank Chase HQ-like gameplay and some unforgettable voice acting make this a game I really want to play more of. We might see more of this on the stream, depending on if I'm able to get a playthrough going. But I'm in love, basically. I'm in love. I... Conflicted feelings, but I, I kind of love it, and I... It goes so hard, you know? <laughs> like, it doesn't even stop to address the fact that, yep, we got dual-mounted machine guns on our cars. It's fine, because Bigfoots are rampaging on the uh, highways. It's just, you know, it's just... When, when you've got Bigfoots, what are you going to do? You need to have a hyper-powered uh, supercar mm -hmm. that can kill you. All right, what's next, Danny? Next up, let's play a game I think our audience will really enjoy. Let's play Demon Chaos. Okay, I do like chaos, and I love demons, so I'm looking forward to this. Alright, real quick here. Just, ooh, phone's going off. We'll be right back, folks. Just gotta take a call. Okay. Now, you've experienced chaos, but have you experienced demon chaos? Maybe you should put on the gameplay screen. Yeah, let me, uh... There it is. Let me just let that finish flashing, and... There we go. Imagine, if you will, demons creating chaos. Come on, Elgato, pick it up. There it is. Good. Now pro. Who's now pro? Is that any relation to now productions? Or am I wrong? No, demon chaos is great. I love it when the chaos is demonic. This has a really good intro. So we got anime. We got... Uh, frankly, there's a lot of things happening. Oh, woo! Check that shit out. Now that's some demons. You might think that lady looks pretty badass, like we're about to play as her. But nope, this is who we play as. <laughs> what do you think? I'm thinking, uh, boyfriend material? Yeah, yeah. Some people have found their new husband. But look, he has a, a softer side too. He's not all about battling. whole lot of skull spiders. 
but that's okay because the Wolfman's here. Okay, how's the demons and are they chaotic? Well, you missed an intro starring first a shrine maiden and then she just instantly got replaced by a sexy Wolfman. Okay. And it okay. turns out that's who we play as. Damn, this is, I wish I didn't miss that. This is Demon Chaos from Genki, uh, originally released in Japan as Reimu Hakurei meets the Wolfman. That's okay. not true. I'm fucking with you. Okay, good. No, 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 no. You're not. This is this is exactly what it is. There's a story mm -hmm. with a very long opening FMV that I found to be very boring, so we're just going to skip it. Okay, good, good. We don't need that shit in our lives. Now, do you remember when Musou was a trend? Yes, it was a great trend. When they made, like, 50 different Dynasty Warrior games? Yes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill you, Elgato. <laughs> Uh, there. Um, one moment, please. It's loading. Oh, you really gonna do this to me? You gonna do this to me midstream? Alright. Let me, uh... Okay, try disabling it and re-enabling it. Alright. Okay. Deactivate. Activate. Luckily, it's still playing the boring intro. Oh, good. Yeah, we're not missing anything. Mm -mm. There hey, there we go. Good. Thanks for your patience, folks. So, yeah, basically the Shrine Maiden managed to fend off the evils for a really long time. But now the evils are too evil. And they need a wolfman to protect them. I guess I'll watch this up until the introduction of the Wolfman. Okay. You gotta see this Wolfman. I really do want to see the Wolfman. But God, there's a lot of demons. It's fine, don't worry about it. That's damn true. Yeah, no dub, unfortunately. But English subs. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Hello! Yeah, he's already been claimed as the husband of multiple chat members, so don't get any ideas. Fine, fine, that's fair, that's very fair. Y'all can have him, I'm... You know. I've got my own Wolfman here. <laughs> it's me, Wolfie. Mm -hmm. Oh, if we do this, we become immortal. Immortal Wolfman! Good, good. I do like being... I do like Immortal Wolfman. They only showed it for like a second, but that horse had way too few polygons. Oh no. The year is 1549, and there's fucking skull spiders all over the place. That's, that's basically what it says, I summarized it for you. Thanks. So, this is exactly Dynasty Warriors. It has the thing where you can look at the map beforehand and make some strategic stuff. You can do your equipment. You get new stuff as you beat each level. It's it's Musou. It is just that. <laughs> so, so many PS2 games were just Musou back in the day. So just, let's march out. I just want to say, I do like the trend of Musou because it is a game you can play really stupidly. I'm sorry. Now, here's the problem. Uh, Musou is famous for having thousands, hundreds of troops on screen at once. This game can have tens of thousands of troops on screen at once. Therefore, the graphics are really, really bad. Yes! <laughs> this no, is no. such a horrible looking game. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know if you can tell just how flickery it is. The, the, the Frame Meister is doing its best to disable the interlacing, but good lord. Yeah, I just want to say I like Musou, but I actually, I think Musou is so fucking fun multiplayer. I'm it is. Sorry. Yeah, co-op Musou is, is one of life's best pleasures, in my opinion. It is It is a real fun, stupid time. I, I love it. Me and Alex used to play a lot of uh, Sengoku Basara. That is, mm -hmm. that's Capcom's Musou. It's that, so good. It's so stupid. It's so good. It's incredibly stupid. And really, the stupider it is, the funner it is, too. That's a <laughs> word. It is a word. Now, we're a... We're big proponents of uh, stupid games here at the Retro Pals. It's like, yeah, it's good when games make you think, but I love it when they don't. Mm -hmm. Like, not at all. So this is basic Musou stuff. You gotta protect troops. You gotta rally the troops. A lot of stuff with troops. 
Okay. And really, all that boils down to in this game is killing a whole bunch of spider skulls and then going to a different part of the island and killing more of them. Look at all that. You can't even tell Holy what's going shit, on. that's so many! The encoding is probably going apeshit right now. Aye! And look at the map! Those red dots, every single one of them is an enemy. And that's... Hey. This isn't even the, the game at its best. Fucking but, chaos indeed! Holy shit! Yeah. This is demonic chaos. Okay, a couple folks asking about Devil Kings, if we know about it or if we played it. I don't think we oh, played yeah, it. Oh yeah, Devil Kings! That was the PS2 predecessor to... Or rather, it was a localization of Sengoku Basara. It got a really fucked up localization at first. Uh, yes! Okay, the, I remember that now. The yeah! PS, the PS3 version we played was actually a more straightforward uh, translation. Mm -hmm. It was their apology, essentially. Like, okay, we made a normal version, don't worry about it, no one's demons, this is all about, uh... But essentially history. they were all like, uh, no, this isn't Nobunaga Oda, this is, uh, demon guy, cool guy. What was he called in Devil King? Someone knows, oh, probably. Oh, okay, no, I'm looking that up. I gotta know. So what? like the Musou games you're familiar with, this is all about throwing yourself into a whole mess of enemies, mm -hmm. slashing them all up, and then coming out almost completely unscathed, because that's what those games are. Good, good. Simple premise, but you can't argue with what works. It worked many, many times on PS2, and to an extent on 360 and PS3 as well. Alright, super move. There we go. Let's blow them all up. Unfortunately, I don't think this game has co-op, so that makes it pretty much worthless for our purposes. But it does have a big wolf man fighting a bunch of demons. So depending on what you're after when you want, when you play these games, this might be for you. Well, I do like demons. I can't even tell who's the enemy or who they're attacking or who I should be attacking. Does it matter? It doesn't. It, all that matters is that you're a cool wolf man and you're murdering probably millions, which, you know. Yeah. All right, question from chat. Uh, Serious Sam and Musou. That's an interesting question. Yeah, that's also a game that makes you fight impossible odds, but with guns instead of uh, swords. I don't know, that is a, a good moral quandary, as they say. I mean, it's an interesting one. I mean, Dude, what is morality here? Can this wolf ride horses? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That might be a game changer if this wolf can ride horses. If this wolf can ride horses, then I may ask to borrow your console. <laughs> where? Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can zoom out at any time to see where the different battles are and make the game even more illegible. <laughs> okay, Smash TV a Musou or Bullet Hell Games Musou? I. Ooh, Smash TV is like a proto Musou. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Essentially what this boils down to is looking at the map and seeing where the red dots are. It's just this game has a scale much greater than Musou games at the time, and it's mm -hmm. also almost impossible to look at. I can kind of see why they didn't release this over here. This is not a good looking game. I mean... And the hunger for Musou was much stronger in Japan at the time, even though they did release many, many Dynasty Warriors games. I just, I wish they took off more here in the States, because I, I don't know. I They're like, fun. Yeah, I like just sitting back and just smashing shit. I tended to like the uh, Sengoku-based Musos more than the uh, Three Kingdoms-based ones, for whatever reason. Not quite sure why. Oh yeah, this has a troop leading mechanic. You can push R2 to lead these little fuckers around, and they'll follow you. We'll follow you, Wolfman. Just tell us where to go and we'll marry you. I mean, follow you. Uh, his name, uh, um, Nobunaga in Devil Kings. Uh-huh. He's called Devil King. Oh, he is just the Devil He's King. He's just Devil King. All That's right. killing me. <laughs> yeah, that was a very funky localization. I'm not quite sure what they were thinking with that. They're coming. Here they are. Well, Okay. Oh, my eyes hurt looking at this. <laughs> it's so flickery. Yeah, this is not... This is, this is, as, as gamers would say, this is not epic. Sorry, yeah. I'm turning into a wear gamer. After uh, full moon hits, I start to drink Mountain Dew and become insufferable. <laughs> D 
demons? That can't be true. Kill the demons. Got it. Alright, no more demons. Demons, you're out of here. There's a bunch of demons. It's just... Oh, look at that shit. It's so satisfying to carve your way through hundreds of enemies. Really, all you're doing is just mashing square and triangle. 500! Oh, yeah. Damn, I'm cool. You are cool. What are my men doing? Nothing? They're, uh... They're... <coughs> are your men wolves, too, or are they just normal soldiers? They're just normal dudes. Ooh. Wolves! Give me wolves! Give me an army of wolves! I can see what they were trying to do here. They were trying to make Dynasty Wars even more out of control. Like, fighting hundreds of dudes, that's nothing. We can literally have 65,000 demons on screen at once, and you will fight all of them. I love when they all blow up like that. Mm -hmm. Did we do it? Did we free the village? Oh, there's stuff. There's a fish. There's a fish. Delicious. It's like, no, no! Actually, do dogs like seafood? I associate that more with cats, but what do I know? Then a dog will eat seafood. Will a dog eat a fish? It's Ow. meat. That's true. Dogs will kind of eat anything. This place got a demon problem. Well, now we gotta go back down the hill and fight more demons. And by now you can probably see how this game's gonna go for the next 50 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> go across the map, fight a shit ton of demons, and then do it again. For a time, that's all you needed. And honestly, if this was co-op, we'd probably... Look at all these fucking demons! <laughs> nice. It's just silly. That's so many! Oh my god! This is just ridiculous! <laughs> so that is a bullet point you can put in the magazines and on the box and stuff, but... As a game, I'm not entirely sold. Uh, the mechanics aren't especially good or satisfying, except when you blow up a shit ton of enemies, like, when you do that. That's good. Apparently dogs can eat fish, but just like with cats, you gotta make sure there's no bones, you gotta make sure it's not a fish that's high in mercury, and you gotta make sure it's not cooked in stuff that can hurt them. So, okay. Okay, that okay makes sense so to he's me. fine. Oh, I told all my dudes to stay behind at the village, that's why no one's coming to help me. Well, I didn't need it. I like how the items have massive blue pillars coming out of them. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you'd never see them. I... It's just so... There's our shrine maiden. She's all, so tiny! All three pixels of her. This is like... Oh, I'm gonna... Sorry to be harsh, but this seems like... This reminds me of, like, a modern game with how small everything is that I can't fucking see. Yeah, only the text is readable. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting informed by Seraphis Kane here that in challenge mode, uh, you can see up to 65,000 enemies on screen at once. Mm -hmm. No. Yep, that's, that was this game's big selling point. No. That many enemies on screen at once. 65,000. Polygon count for individual characters, not especially high. I uh, cause they're just hanging out, they're not even attacking you, they're just like hanging out. Yeah, I'm their friend. Oh, cause that's, those are your guys. Okay, I don't know why I thought those are enemies. Let's go into battle, friends. Let's zoom out to see more carnage. Whoa. Nice. 99 Knights ain't got shit on this. There's a game like one person has played. <laughs> I've, I've heard... <laughs> I've heard of that. I just don't remember shit about it. It was Konami. Okay. Konami did me so. So did everyone at the time. Alright, uh, some folks have heard of it, and I'm also seeing more like 99 shites, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. The original uh, wasn't that good. Who else wants to die? Drink of the 99 nice. Good night, everybody. <laughs> now that would be a Musou game. Well, let's trek back down the mountain to kill the stragglers. What? More demons just came out up here. God damn it. Oh, she likes our demon flesh. Hey! Got it. Okay, 
Alright, so I guess this leans a little bit more towards the troop management side of things, which Dynasty Warriors wasn't especially good at, at least in the beginning. This lets you straight up heal your teammates by doing this. Alright, some discussion about uh, speaking of 99 Knights, some discussion about Tak Fuji's 99 Knights. Two uh, presentation. Uh, just oh so yeah, that's a classic. We support it. Uh, we support that presentation. We think it's beautiful, and we will we will take. I will personally take no hate on it. I'm yeah. sorry. That whole presentation was amazing. Wow. Mm -hmm. One million troops. Wow. Any confirmation on if he was drunk or is that just him? <laughs> I. He seemed pretty drunk. He seemed pretty loaded. I was like, it's either jet lag or that, or shit, maybe he just wasn't feeling it, which... Hmm. Okay, that's him normally? That's great! <laughs> that is that fucking fantastic. That is... Oh, that's... Uh, that, that thought's giving me serotonin. Thank you. I love thinking of that. Okay. Well, I've planted a shit ton of pillars, but the game doesn't seem to want me to progress here. So maybe this might be the end of our time with... Demon Rush? Mm -hmm. No, Demon Chaos. That's Chaos. what it's called. Dem the Demon Rush is a different game. <laughs> For another time, maybe. One of these days, Danny, we have to. One of these days. Not today, though. Demon Chaos. Consider it if you want some chaotic demons in your life. I don't fucking know. Let's go. Let's move on. Next up, I don't think we're quite ready for the finale, so let's try Bomberman Hardball. Excuse me? This is a game I had never heard of in my life until last night, and I am just amazed at how brazen Hudson Soft was with this one. Let's try and show off as much of this game as we can. But, essentially, Bomberman was big, and Hudson wanted to keep making Bomberman games, but they had less and less of an excuse to do so. So, they made him branch out. There was a Bomberman kart game. Mm-hmm. Bomberman spin-offs. He was in that uh, that one Hudson fighting game with Optimus Prime and Simon Belmont. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you have this, a sports game compilation featuring Bomberman. <laughs> Do you know Bomberman played sports? I I do now. Bomberman Hardball. Did, did you think did he play like softball? Oh no, hardball. Never mind. Of course. He, yeah, no Bomberman dating sim. A real shame. A real shame. Danny, would you date Bomberman? I guess. He seems dangerous. Yeah, I don't know if I would date a man who shits bombs. <laughs> he doesn't sh- well, where do they come from? You see? Now you've made me question it. Now you're questioning everything. I'm actually kind of mad we didn't get this here in the States. <laughs> this seems just dumb enough that I would love it. Bomberman! Part. Hey, is this... Wait, what? This has a life mode. We'll get to that. This also has traditional Bomberman battles, because, you know, it's got to have real regular Bomberman in there. But it also has golf, tennis, and baseball. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're playing baseball. As Bomberman. As Bomberman, yeah. Okay, I have one huge huge question about uh, this, but I'm going to see how the game plays before, just because I'll probably answer it. Yeah. Oh, there they all are. Yeah, they do look like Funko Pops. This is pissing me off. Oh, that sucks. I wish I could unsee that. Now, the reason why I said this was brazen on the part of right. Hudson Soft is every single one of these sports games is a blatant ripoff of another sports game. This one, for instance, may not be obvious to people outside of Japan, but this is a complete ripoff of Konami's MLB Power Pros. It plays almost exactly the same. That little box that shows you where the pitch is gonna go. The bat icon. Hey, quick question. Where are the bombs? Oh, there's no bombs in baseball. Then why... Are the Bombermans here? I... Because Hudson oh needed money. That was an early... Okay, fair. Fair enough. I gotta do better. Damn. Oh, this is Ted who's batting, apparently. Ted Bomber. Get out of here, Danny. Sorry. This, do... Now, this is Fred. He'll I... do better. 
I like your color aesthetic. I like that you have the trans flag on you. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh. Ah, oh, freaking foul. foul. Okay, okay. It's not that I don't want bomber men, bomber men's, and bomber people to be able to play baseball. It's just. It's I'm, strange, isn't it? Yeah. I, like, it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. Also, I'm really bad at this. I just, yeah, I hear, it's just that I hear Bomberman in baseball, and I assume that the the ball is going to be a massive bomb that you're going to destroy your enemies with. See, even this mechanic where you can move around the reticle like this, that is totally power pros. I'm shocked Konami didn't sue. But then again, they... They were kind of in business together, considering they made that one fighting game. Mm. Konami probably wasn't especially pleased with this. Let's go ahead and quit this and see what the other games are. Okay, I'm, I want to see what life mode is like, personally. Well, first, we gotta hit the links, because this bomber man knows how to golf. I... If he doesn't golf with a bomb, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> You're going to see a man cry on... Twitch, which you've probably seen before, but... Well, sorry to burst your bubble. No, but... no, do not burst my bubble. <laughs> this is just a regular ass golf game. Can they at least be golf-sized bombs? See if you can tell me which game this rips off. I don't know if you're familiar with the series, but other people should be able to tell instantly. Okay, interesting fact here. At this point, Konami was uh, Hudson's largest shareholder, so... That's right, I forgot about that. Okay, so they would have been okay with this, probably. Maybe that's why they did it, because they were like, shit, let's uh, let's let's put a Bomberman skin on these games, get some synergy going with one of our newest acquisitions. So the, acquisitions. Swing, me the swing mechanic, the reverse shot of the ball landing, the whole presentation in general... Can you tell what this is? Chat has an idea. Yeah. Uh, hot shots golf, Mina no golf, hot shots yep. golf. Mina Got it no in golf. one. That is exactly what it is. It is a blatant ripoff of hot shots golf. <laughs> None of these sports games have any kind of ingenuity. They're just other games, only with Bomberman. The tennis game, I don't think I'm going to show because of time, but it's basically just Virtua Tennis, as you might expect. Uh, Tave, unfortunately, no, this does not have the block party game where Bomberman gets in the tire and he gets, he gets trash thrown at him, but <laughs> yeah, I, cool. I, I think this may have Slobber Slammer where <laughs> Bomberman's going to crawl into the mouth of a giant dog and uh, we're going to have to save his ass. All right, good. Cool. Just This whole collection just blows my mind. It wasn't released over here and it only got a European release because of Ubisoft. But the fact that this game exists at all is pretty mind-blowing. Let's see what life mode is about. And that's it. Wait, what? Yeah. I mean, that... Does he do other things? Can you, can you select a time and date? Like, can you change a time and date? Can you... Well, let's... let's no, that just displays the time and date oh, in different okay. ways. okay, um... We can wake him up and make him go to battle, or baseball, or tennis. So he's just... <laughs> That's how I wake up in the morning. Here we go. It's the life of a bomber. All, All right. right. Let's see what this bomber boy does. He stands. That's good. All right. You got people watching, bomber man. What are you going to do? You going to do anything without my input? Oh, you're not going to do anything even with my input. Here we go. Yeah, push-ups. There we go. That's enough. He's uh, embarrassed? He's drunk? He's... horny? <laughs> I don't want to make any aspirations on Bomberman. I don't know what his life is like. He doesn't have any aspirations either. Mm -mm. But if you were expecting an in-depth mode here, uh, well, no, it's just looking at what Bomberman would ever wants to do at that particular point in the day. He got dizzy. It, is, is he, is he okay? You can't even give him gifts. You can't give him head pats. That's a terrible Tamagotchi. Are you shouldn't me? I want to, I want to touch his head. Okay, you can open the remote. Okay, now we would know the remote is what lets him do, uh, things like games and stuff like that. Prizes. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Gumballs. Okay. Hey, 
You got eyes now. Can give him a really terrible face. Apparently, you can also give him a name on the remote, too. So if we want to call him, like, uh, Bombhead or Bomb Boy or Bombless or Ivory. Ivory. A beautiful name. That's fine. That name's fine. I guess. I already named him, too. Oh, Danny. That's fair. Your name is Ass. Hey, Ass. I hope you're having a good day. Chat Got wants it. to call him Blomberman. Blomberman is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I guess you can have a career with Bomberman here across multiple sports. I guess that's what they're going for. But somehow, I think this would only fly in Japan, where Bomberman is much more beloved. Like the character, not just the games. He just he just went, he just said ding dong. Ding dong. And then started posing. Can't have that language on stream. I, I like him. I'm gonna say it. I like him. He dove face first into the carpet. He tried to kiss himself. This reminds me of the of Hey You Pikachu. Oh my god, that is what it is. Except you can't interact with him, and he <laughs> and he's kind of a little bit more incompetent. Sorry, sorry, bomber man. All right, bomber man, do one more thing, and then I'm cutting you off. Impress us. Make us laugh. What do you got to tell to the folks out there? Um. Mm, all right. All right. Bomberman died. Good. Thanks, Bomberman. Bomberman Hardball. A rare Bomberman game that was localized for Europe and not the United States. Thanks, Hudson. Thanks, Ubisoft. Bye, Bomberman. Bomberman. Okay, now. Oh my god. Bomberman's preventing me from turning off my PS2. Is he? Bomberman, what the fuck? Uh, the power button's not working. <laughs> what? Sorry for peeking. The power, there it goes. I'm sorry, that's really funny. <laughs> that was, that yeah. Was, that was really creepy. I don't know what I would have done. Unplug the system, I guess? He's haunting you. Finally, we got one game that I've been wanting to show off on the stream for years. Uh, there was one problem, it wasn't released, and it wasn't dumped either. Many years passed. I had an eBay search saved for this game, and after years and years of looking, one finally popped up several months back. I put in a bid for a princely sum. I don't think I told you about it, Alex, but it would have no, been for the best. No, you didn't. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't end up winning, and as was the case with many of these prototypes, I was worried that it would have just disappeared completely, would have never been seen again, just rotten in some dude's closet forever. Then randomly, looking at HiddenPalace.org one day in their prototype database, here was this game. Oh! Turns out it was dumped something like three months ago, I think? So that copy on eBay ended up going to the right person, and now finally, we in America and the world get to enjoy Polaroid Pete. Man, Thanks. it's so rare that it actually goes to someone who's going to do something yeah, with it. Hey. There's, there's been so many prototypes I bid on and lost, and I think, well, someone's got to dump it, right? And nope, <laughs> never happens. Wonderful. But oh. here it is. The sequel to Geksha Boy for the PC Engine, also known as Photograph Boy. This got a sequel on PS2 in Japan, and they were going to localize it for Europe under the title Polaroid Pete. There he is. So, so do you think that this was canceled because Pol Polaroid realized that this they didn't want their name associated with this little pervert? Maybe. Yeah, Geksha Boy is kind of a strange game. It's all about visual gags, uh, lots of sexual innuendo and stuff. Maybe Polaroid wasn't quite aware. In fact, they give look that's the U.S. address there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is that they wanted to do a tie-in with their weird iZone thing to maybe promote their new camera, and they're like, hey, here's the game we can attach our name to, but then they maybe played it and were like, wait a minute, this man is a huge fucking pervert, <laughs> and this is associating our product with a man who we would love to murder, sorry. Now, regardless of how the game turned out, I gotta say, I am super, super happy this got dumped, because... Whoever ended up with this game, they didn't have to do that. They could have easily followed the path of many other collectors, and instead they didn't, and that's why we're playing this at all today. So thank you, whoever that was. Thank you. Two things. Uh, the vocal track says Geksha Boy, which I like, and um, secondly, Taizo mentions why this game was unreleased. It was canceled because JBC shut down their European publishing division. This was very, very close to release. Oh yeah, you typically didn't see many JVC games of this era, and yeah, they shut down around that time. So I guess Polaroid likes a pervert man. They're like, oh, they oh, that's him. fine. 
We love we love it when our, our camera is associated with pieces of shit. <laughs> Please take Polaroid pictures of your junk. Oh. <laughs> oh Polaroid yeah, those eye zone cameras were okay. Okay, I remember the the Polaroid eye zone cameras. Okay, all right. Those were uh. God, those were. Oh God, it was giving me shit again. Give us a second. Let me just act, reactivate, deactivate. Goodbye. Hello. Come on, this is history in the making. Elgato HD60. There, there we, we go. go. And this is an actual legit sequel to the original Geksha Boy, including all the characters. They kept uh, all the original lore. And actually, this is the first time this is officially in English, because the original Geksha Boy only had a fan translation. You'll remember in the first game that the hero, Pete Goldman, uh, started, started the game with his parents dying tragically. <laughs> And yes. then an editor took him under his wing, and he became a world-famous photographer. That's the story up to now. Got it. Okay, so he's working at the Planet Times. Look, this guy's in 3D now. He's never looked better. Remember, no news is good news. Got it. Hey... There's our little pervert. I just... Yeah, if I recall the iZone... Okay, so the iZone camera, some info on it here, just from, from the Wikipedia article. It was actually... Hold on. Okay, the camera wasn't actually even made by iZone. It was made by Tomy, and Polaroid just slapped their name on it, it looks like. Oh, interesting. And you would take a picture and it would come on a real shitty piece of paper. Okay. Still, it would have been cool back in the day. Yeah. Oh, oh, I remember this. This was, uh, okay, so you could take kind of, uh, sticker style, uh, uh, photos with this, and you could, the, the, okay. Hey, you want some bikini shots for page four? Oh my god, this little pervert. Don't be stupid, he says. Japan, wow, that's far. Uh, better start swimming. Okay. I was gonna say you couldn't take professional news photos with a with an eye zone. That's no. <laughs> Well, it's just product placement. Yeah, yeah, it was like okay, do you remember the sticker club craze in the uh nineties and yeah. early two thousands? That that was mostly in Japan, but that kinda hit over here too in America. And um we like God yeah, the camera apparently, uh, the the photos you take, they're all stickers. So it's basically a, a, a portable uh, sticker club type photo booth thing. I but, see. You know, okay. Kind of like the uh, the Pokemon Snap blockbuster stations. Okay, so not all the okay, not all of the eye zones were not all of the eye zone papers were capable of doing the uh, whole uh, what you call it, the whole uh, sticker thing. But that was seems to be the general gist of the concept. Okay. Let's get her started. Now this is almost exactly like the original Gekshaw Boy, only. Now you can zoom in, you can take photos with multiple subjects within a, a single photo, and you have an additional flash bulb, which I'm not really sure how it's used. I think it just blanks all the bullets on the screen, but I'm going to do my best here. Way back when, I one credit cleared the original Geksha Boy, and I've beaten a few levels in this one, but honestly it seems kind of tough. The art style here is what really impresses me, because look at this. Oh, classic from the first game, dude falling on his ass. There's a, there's a Matrix parody here, since this is the 2000s. Okay, I like that. Is this game, to be gentle, is this game a little less fucked up than the... Uh... From what I've seen, not racist at all. Oh, thank you, God. I so, do not want to have to no. In that aspect, it's a little bit better than the original. Now here you can actually... Zoom in in the background, get better pictures. Oh, that's cool. And just like the original, you want to take a lot of pictures because some of them give you bonus film. And it doesn't matter if you waste film, as long as you have stuff in reserve. I will say some of this is still untranslated, so maybe that would have been that way in, in the final European release. Oh, I got his hair. There we go. Good, good. 
Yeah, no, no, no. We, like, I can't say about any other kind of things. Like, it, it may be transphobic, it may be a lot of other things. But hey, if I don't, if I can finally play a game without, I'm. I'm just, I just want to see a game with just a little touch less racism from the yeah. demo stream. Thank you. There goes the Eiffel Tower. Goodbye. Oh, kabong. Damn, I didn't get the explosion. Uh-oh, here we go. Our target's coming up. There's a monkey driving the train. And there's someone being kidnapped. We got Good. it. Good. We didn't save her, but we did get the scoop. Is that guy protesting? I like him. I think so. I like the Polaroid uh, sign in the background. You can also jump, so this is kind of a platformer. Oh, we gotta take a picture of these. Oh, he's so happy! Really, from what I've seen, this game seems a lot denser than the original Gekshaw Boy. There's a shit ton of things you can take pictures of, and almost all of them are recognized as being, like, uh, stuff that gives you bonuses. This is a unique art style. Yeah, it looks... They managed to really carry across the art style between the two games. Not something I would think would translate to 3D, but they did okay. I was like, oh, he's less problematic, and then he's, like, taking photos of school girls. No, thank you. Oh, God! Oh, God, watch out! Uh, one of those was a good picture. No film! Yeah, use up all your film. Whoops. I think I got the quota, though. We'll have to see. Yeah, Cafe Zarigani. They serve crabs and stuff. I... Sh that sounds tasty. Yeah. This guy shit talks all your photos. What a waste of film. 66 of them are out of focus. Okay. Six of them is good photography. That is not too bad. And two are fine photography. One, that's a cool photo. And we got the subject, so that's some bonus points. Oh, hell yeah. I just, I'm sorry. I don't trust Polaroid Pete. I've never trusted the Gek Shop Boy. <laughs> Why I... not? Look at him. He's so trustworthy. I'm sorry. It's like, I think I've talked about it before, about the time, about when I saw that alligator at the state park and I just turned around and walked away like fucking, uh... Is Japan safe? <laughs> like Grandpa Simpson. I, I think if I saw Gek Shop Boy, I would do the same thing. I would be like, all right, goodbye. Yeah, I would just, just walk away. Just turn 180 degrees. Mm -hmm, get the hell out leave. of there. The number one family newspaper. That's the kind of stuff we publish. See? Look at that. You, you, you're not telling me. You're walking down the street. You're, you know, pandemic's over. You're at the domain and you see that man. You're not telling me you wouldn't like... I like the way his noise, his, his, his nose vibrates whenever you pick a menu item. Yes, Taizo. Okay. He does look super... F that's why I think he... That's why I think he gets more of a pervert vibe from me. Because he does look more like a French cartoon character. Oh, this is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Streaming PS2 on original hardware. A little bit more of a pain in the ass than you'd think. You think maybe because it's fucking PAL? Could be. Let's try that again. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's the, the French cartoon aesthetic of him that really gets to me. Oh, come on. Cons One second. Come on. Hey, a new version of Game Capture is available. Oh, thank you. I'm so, so happy to hear. A prompt to update the Elgato keeps uh, popping up right over our screen. And now the screen I'm looking at is all purple, so that's cool. It's normal. Don't worry about it. We're having a good time. Having a good time here. Having a good time on, uh... Oh, don't freeze, OBS. OBS? Don't freeze. No, don't do that. <laughs> it's back. Hold on. I just want to play video games. Please let us play Polaroid Pete. I just... I just want to play the... There's the, a new version of Game Capture is available. Hey, it's, it's fine. It happened. Okay. Christ, okay. <laughs> okay, it's normal now. Thank you all for waiting. Level 2 of Get Shot Boy. The adventure continues. Did you hear there's a flying train in Japan? I want to go. It's a false rumor, probably, but if you don't get a picture of it, you're fired. Okay. 
Uh, Endurance Soldier, I'm the person who edits the stream for YouTube, so uh, <laughs> you can feel bad for me. Yeah, have fucking fun. Alright, this level is when they start throwing projectiles at you. Okay. Which is kind of a mixed bag, because if they hit you, you lose film, but you can also photograph them to get more film. Okay, so you're at a, you're at a Japanese amusement park, you can tell, because it's got one of those uh, Japanese-style Ferris wheels. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. I'm gonna go. Someone get kidnapped? Someone got kissed, it looked like. And you're being a big old pervert who wants to see. That's the Bikuri house, or surprise house. Oh, the nose had bonus film in it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> That's the horror house, house yeah. back there. I missed something. I'm not good at getting the scoops. But this is a pretty entertaining game. Not sure if I like it quite as much as the original. The original is really good. And this really is just more of the same with very few additions. And frankly, a lot of the comedy in this game does not have the impact that the original game had. But it also doesn't have the racism, so... Yeah. <laughs> Take what you can get. You know, I don't think this is going to be making a presence on the Amico, you know? But... I don't think Tommy T got the uh, the rights for this. If he was smart, he would have. Yeah, I I want to see Geksha Boy for the next generation. With he a... was all like, hmm, Photograph Boy or Cornhole? Listen. That old man looks like a Gundam. He's got the same colors. Someone back me up here. And, I mean, I was just looking into this crotch, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the button for that other type of photo? Uh, that one, yeah. Oh, there's a rival photograph boy. It's a photograph girl. Shit! Get her ass! <laughs> hey, there's a flying train! Shit! I think I got it. This is real shitty photos. I was gonna say, no offense, Danny, but this is not super great. I do like the new mechanic where oh, you can where you can put multiple uh, subjects in a single photo to save film. Okay, I think we have to photograph it right as it's taken off. All right, got confirmation that man was a Gundam reference. Okay, thank you. All right, you. good. It wasn't just me. Got it. I heard the heard the noise of you getting it. Mhm. Mm we can go back home proud. And yes, Chad says, I guess they can only choose, uh, the Miko only has one Irem game, and it's, uh... It's Moon Patrol, yeah. It should be this! It should be, you know... You know, it's 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 fun for the whole family to be a, a horrible pervert man in the theme park. Yeah. I will, yeah, okay, I will say, I keep calling him an awful pervert, but this is actually a little more calm than I, calmer he's, than I was expecting. He's much more family-friendly. I think he dialed it back for the, the Polaroid promotion. Okay, Polaroid was like, please... You need to make gotta, us look good. We gotta, you gotta reel in your boy. You gotta make it so he doesn't make the headlines himself. We took eight good photos that aren't too bad. Mm -hmm. We took seven that's that are fine. Mm -hmm. And two cool photos. They're cool photos. And we got the request, so I think we met the quota. Assuming the Elgato is okay with that. Let me try to deactivate and reactivate on my end. Maybe that'll work better. All right. All right. Yeah, right now I'm having to lean over and unplug the thing and plug it back in. Okay, I'm not I'm not seeing any notice right now, so let me just, just deactivate, deactivate and, reactivate. and reactivate. And let's see if that helps. Please don't freeze. I have a life to live. <laughs> it is resolution swapping, yeah. My stream. She's sick. Please, my stream. Okay, I have it on my end. Okay, let but me... what about on the stream's end? Let's deactivate that. Give it a second and reactivate. Well, <laughs> we're getting it. I don't want to see Pete after dark. <laughs> let us never see another version of Pete. Pete has some compromising and potentially illegal photos <laughs> to show off. I don't want to see anything. Try, like try that. and activate and deactivate again. Wow, it was going so good up until we played Photograph Boy too. I mean, uh, Polaroid Pete. Polaroid, yeah. Yeah, here come the bouncers. The yeah, bouncers we got here. bounced. They're bouncing all over my capture equipment. Yeah, it's it's not going. Well, I guess I have an excuse to update fucking Elgato software, don't I? Let me try it one more time. Okay. 
Go for the reset. Replugged. Deactivate. Deactivated. Reactivate. Please. Yes? Yes? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A new version of Game Catcher is available. Go away. Come on, one moment, please. Please, <laughs> let us just see our nasty man one more time. <laughs> Breathing deep. Feeling cool and calm. Huh? Huh? Uh. Yeah, Elgato is sickened by Elgato what Elgato refuses. It's all like, no, nope, this dude, pretty soon he's going to start taking upskirts and I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, well, it's about that time anyway, so. I'm going to try one more time. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to let that cycle, and then I'm going to deactivate and reactivate. Okay. i got to let it cycle first. That sounds like a plan. Okay, looks like it's cycled, so I'm deactivating. And it's going to cycle again. Screen one activated. Mm-hmm, okay. Okay, it's, it's done that, and hold on. And then I'm going to activate again. A new version of Game Capture is available. Oh, is it? <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you every time in case you didn't see the giant pop-up. You know what? This is for all those times where I was like, hey, Danny, did you pay for it on your Saturn loader? So, And folks, no go. I think it's time to update the Elgato. Well, that's... Elgato cutting a stream a little bit short, and that is Polaroid Pete. Uh, maybe it's for the best. Maybe Pete was about to get into something that wasn't streamable. Maybe we're being saved here. Uh, in an alternate dimension, the stream could have kept going, and Pete would have done something that would have gotten us kicked off of Twitch. I'm going to choose to take this as a good sign. All it right. was good that that happened when it did. It was actually good. I'm laughing, really. Okay, now it's... Okay, hold on. Is it... One moment, please. Uh, all right. This uh, one Cor one final note. A new version of Game Capture HD is available. Thank you, Corey. It says that would be the functioning capture card trick, and this is the Game Capture update <laughs> is available trick. Wow, a, a dynamite ending to get <laughs> Polaroid Pete found dead in his New York apartment. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Electric Boogaloo. Oh my lord. Well, we mostly got through that without issue. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of PlayStation 2 PAL games, and I think we are officially done and ready to see the end screen. Oh, uh, there's our rat, Grandpa. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Gregory the Rat. Special thanks to uh, Pete the Possum. What was his name in the fishing game? Uh, Pat Possum. Pat Possum. No thanks to Polaroid Pete and his Elgato destroying ways. He uh, shit Pete. We did at least manage to see a couple of levels. And again, the point is the game was dumped and it's available, and that's the excellent part. That is great. You can find that at hiddenpalace.org, along with many other games, uh, some of which I dumped myself. I have a page on there. You can literally go to uh, hiddenpalace.org slash Danny Cowan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so... That, that tickles me for some reason. Oh, that's delightful. Anyway... That's PAL PlayStation 2 games. Yep, a whole bunch of games got localized, but weren't quite ready for US release. And you know, after evaluating those games, I can kind of see why. Some of them were a little bit too janky. Some, like World Super Police, were maybe a little bit too uh, prescient in terms of what they were portraying. Yeah. America was not quite ready for it. And America sure as shit wasn't ready for Polaroid Pete. No. America would not have known what to do with Polaroid Pete. I'm not ready for him. But that's a nice sampling of what was released in Europe, but not America, localized from Japanese. Uh, turns out, once again, thanks to Taizo for all the suggestions, and there were so many other suggestions that I didn't quite get to show off during the stream. So maybe we'll see more of these PAL games in the future. Mm -hmm. Let us know if that's what you want to see, because man, that is a wild world I'm not all too familiar with. It's a world of Polaroid Pete's, of uh, sexy werewolf boyfriends, mm -hmm. and a little possum named Pat. I love Pat. I'm sorry. Pat is my new king. Sorry, Danny. Thanks for watching, folks. We're Retro Pals. We do this sort of thing every week. If you want to vote for what we play during our weekly streams, you can head to patreon.com slash retropals. Uh, not going to be a poll for this week. Uh, we'll explain more on Friday. Mm -hmm. You'll see. But usually we put up weekly polls, and the people who contribute to our Patreon get to determine what we play. This week, oh, it was so close. So close in between PAL PS2 games and Gravity Angels. We'll have to do Gravity Angels very soon, because that's what the people want. And what the people want, they have to get. They do. 
Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'll look for a host. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPiles. We post highlights of our streams there, including our latest highlight, which is part one of our deep, deep dive into the Wii's nasty, disgusting dumpster. <laughs> just absolute, tr just, I, I, I did that. I am covered in... I am covered in M and M's and garbage juice. It's disgusting. Gross. I smell. I I know. I why do you I why do you think I, I took a shower before the show? <laughs> Barely got the stink off of me. So do check that out. Um, we're also on Twitter, twittercom slash HQ. That's where we post when we go live, and of course the wonderful memes and etc. that you send us. We do retweet those because we like to. We like to laugh, don't we? We do. And, and we, we gave you a shit ton of rats this week, so you better pay us back with rat memes. That's my request. <laughs> and we do like rat memes. Uh, we also have a Discord. I'll put that in here. Um, that's another place for the rat memes. There's a lot of rat memes on the Discord. Uh, the other day, it was like a couple weeks ago, someone just posted a rat, and we all posted rats. So, yeah, go check that out. It's also where I complain about Epcot, apparently. Yep. If you want to see Alex's many complaints about Disney and Epcot, our Discord is the place to be. I try not to, but I was, I'm sorry, someone asked, and <laughs> we I had, had to give my hot take. I really appreciate the the good discussion we had about the Intellivision Amico this oh, afternoon. Oh, yeah! That was good stuff. We live-watched the Amico. That was fucking great. You know what? We had more discussion about the Amico on our Discord than I saw anyone discussing it on Twitter, so... Mm -hmm. The, it's your source for Intellivision Amico discussion and pre-release hype. We're looking yes. forward to it. Okay, I've made my decision. We're hosting Chubo. You've you've heard of the Commodore 64, right? Yeah. What about the Commodore 16? That's a quarter of That's the fake. Commodore 64. That's fake. These games look pretty incredible, and right now he's playing Pegged? Sounds good. Uh -oh. Let's enjoy games with Chubo. Oh, I see a bunch of Beavis and Buttheads in his chat, so good. Things are as they should be. Beautiful. Enjoy Chubo, have a good rest of your evening, and thanks for watching. We'll see you later. See ya, folks.